Look, if you look real close, you can see my hair blowing. Here we go with another DIY. And the reason why I'm doing this, because a lot of people don't realize they think the air conditioner is going bad and it turns out it's just a cabin filter. Um, and the reason why I'm showing this, because here, cabin filter, this is from a Dodge dealership. I'm not putting down Mopar, Dodge dealership, but they want $84 to replace it with the $15 uh, filter. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna change this out real quick. It only takes maybe five minutes. That's in the description if you're wondering which one, but it's a micro carbon, it's a micro filter or something, whatever it is you want it in there. And uh, that helps keep the moisture smell out. And the, they want it uh, $85 to replace it. So that's like a savings of what, 70 bucks. So for something that takes a few minutes to change and it will make a difference on your air conditioner and your air coming out because uh, that'll bog down on you. So here we go. So let's take this out. And I think a lot of Mopar are the same way. A lot of Dodgers and stuff. Pull this here down. This pops out. Push these in. And you can even do it with the full. I didn't even know that did that. Up here, you have a little tab. Pull that. And there's like another one like up in here in the middle. You can push and pull. And it comes right out. The phone's doing this, but you have two down arrows. That's the way your airflow is. So you want to make, keep that in mind uh, when you're putting your other filter in. And it just basically pulls out. Just like that. 2019 Dodge Durango with the V6 with 40,000 miles. And they said that was dirty. So this is the one we have that we got off Amazon. And it says right here, white part up with a which way to put the airflow. So we're going to face it just like that inward. And this one here even comes with the fancy little pull tab. There we go. It's in there. Now when looking at this, you can see how the end of it is to where... You can see the ends of it, and they're just flat, and it has to slide this piece over that. And I can't do this. For me, just put this end in first, because you have to push that over those tongs, and then kind of pull it like a door, and just pull it to your uh, left, and then it just pops in place. And then you have another tab up here top, just push that in. You can clearly see, can you see how that end is? It just rounded and just like little pegs there. It just slides on back on there like that. Put kind of push those in where it just it closes. Look, you can do it with even the glove box full. They give you these little tools to pull and pry with, but I didn't need them. I tell you, it's like 113 degrees out today. This thing here is just retractable. You can see the little pin where it slides in here. It just slides in place, pulls tight, and you're good. Also, they have on here to replace the engine air filter, which is $69 for the parts and $74 total for the repair. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put another video up on that. It's probably even quicker to change that one. And you can save yourself money, and we got the filter. It's a, go ahead with me. It's a Fram filter. Fram filter. And that's a pretty good name brand. Uh, and probably, yeah, you'll save yourself. We paid 20 bucks for that almost. So you're looking at uh, like about 55 bucks to save on that. So yeah, I'll put that at the end of the video here. You'll see it. Uh, stay cool. It's hot. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.